Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I have my friend, first time on the channel. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Nick. And Nick, what'd you do today, man? Uh, I played Rescue Ace. And then what'd you do with it? Uh, I went undefeated. Hell yeah, for the new for, uh, box tournament at our locals for the new set. Um, before we get started with the uh, deck profile, is there any shouts or anything you want to give you? Uh, shout out to my girlfriend. I love her. Um, as I was literally practicing the deck for the first time last night, uh, she stayed on the on the Discord with me, just watched me play, and just hanging out. And talking, so. I love that, dude. Well, no further ado, let's get your deck profile, bro. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm gonna start with the dre uh, the monsters first. Um, first and foremost, the MVP of the deck is. Uh, Rescue Ace Hydrant. Um, this card pretty much activates everything you need in the deck. Um, whether that is to get turbulence or to get your combo pieces to climb into whatever you may need. Um, literally, just it's the go. Next, I am running three uh, Rescue Ace Airlifter. This is the one card combo of the deck. Um, you can climb up into what you normally go into, which is the Dark Fluid uh, Firewall Dragon. Um, but for my deck, since I do not have Dark Fluid, uh, I went for a more jankier kind of combo y into uh, Abermax and um, Access Code. Next is the second MVP of the deck, honestly, uh, was Rescue Ace Preventer. Um, this card allows you to do your link climb to allow you to get into your traps, your spell trap negate, or even just to continue to move things around. It is also a Book of Moon. Um, the Book of Moon effect didn't necessarily come up uh, this tournament, but it I've seen it put and utilized into moments of like you're playing and they can't even do anything. Next is the big boy, uh, Rescue Ace Turbulence. I run two of him. Um, he is the set four uh, directly from deck, so droll, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> excuse my language. Um, but he allows you to continually move your card, uh, continually once per turn, continually move up to four of uh, different names of rescue ways card, spell trap cards. Um, whether that is the two, the two traps or the three spells, um, it also has a pop on board if they if they get rid of one of your cards or um, yeah, it is. He's also just a big boy and he can he puts in the work. Next is I run three rescue ace. Um, I guess this, this is what I impulse. Guess. Impulse. Sorry. Um, he did not necessarily come up too much today. However, he has a he has very good utilization. Uh, many times I just use him as tribute uh, tribute fodder for emergency to get out the combo. Um, but other times he can from hand bring you into special link summoning a uh, fire attacker. Uh, so if they draw. Um, you will draw two and then discard one, or even special summoning into uh, fire engine and or even preventer from your deck, um, essentially giving you more gas on their on their turn. Next is one fire engine, just like I was speaking before. Uh, he's really just uh, a body. Um, he special summons from him when you special summon or normal summon a uh, ways monster. Um, he also allows you during your opponent's turn. Um, if they special summon, you can special summon. Uh, so you can, occasion, uh, you can occasionally go into uh, getting your fire hydrant back or onto the board or even impulse. Um, he came up a couple times, mainly just to get the body on the board and pump out damage. Awesome. I run one fire attacker. Uh, that's that draw to um, discard one. Uh, it's also just an extra body that you can get onto the board. Uh, another reason why I liked it is that I got there can only be one at least twice this tournament. Um, and luckily I was on fire hydrant, so I was on machines, and luckily majority of them are machines. The exclusion to that is air lifter. Lex, I will go quickly through the um, the hand traps. It's very simple. Three ash. Um, it's just 
it's Ash. What else can you say? I honestly, honestly think it needs another hour. And then this kind of moves around, but right now I'm running three draw and Lockbird. Uh, there's a lot of decks that just add to hand. Um, yeah, it, it, it puts in the work. Uh, and if you know that your opponent's just, it, they're not going to be adding from hand, you can just side out for whatever you have in your side deck. Easy side turn. Next, I'll go quickly through the um, Rescue Ace spells. So I run the new Rescue Ace spell that just came out with the new set, uh, Emergency. What this does is it allows you to special summon any Rescue Ace monster from the deck, um, and then you tribute a Rescue Ace monster from either hand or, or field. Um, occasionally, uh, like I said earlier, uh, I would discord, discard the Impulse um, to get out whether it is uh, Hydrant or even Turbulence sometimes, just like you don't even need to use Turbulence if Back to special summon himself. Yeah. Uh, you can special summon from here. Um, this card is also has a graveyard effect that uh, you can banish it and set one of your uh, one of your trap cards from your graveyard. Um, it came out. It came up actually in my last game. Uh, very fun, really cool card. Our locals just wrapped up. So sorry about the noise, guys. But new guy, little kid, four freaking broken. So that's how it goes, man. Even though Nick's the winner here today, um, he's a real winner. More locals. <laughs> Next, I run one alert. Uh, alert is the adder from hand or from grave. Uh, if you have hydrant, you can add from hand. Uh, during your combo, when you're using uh, an airlifter, uh, you can grab preventer and continue your link climb. Um, there are other moments where, like, you can add it and then get impulse, and then when your opponent activates something, uh, you can then tribute the impulse and then go in through that combo. Next, I run one rescue. Uh, rescue allows you to special summon from your graveyard, or if you have hydrant, you can special summon one monster from your opponent's graveyard. Um, this did not necessarily, the second effect didn't necessarily come up this tournament, but I can see this being very useful against Branded, getting getting rid of one of their key monsters uh, that they use for their fusion summons, and now they just, they can't, um, their Branded fusion or something will just fizzle out. Lastly, uh, for the spells, I run one Rescue Ace HQ. This card I love. I wish I would run Terraforming, um, but really, you you don't really necessarily have to uh, get it out to get gas, but it continues to push through. Um, what it does, it gives you an extra normal summon, uh, as well as a you can shuffle back up to four um, Rescue Ace cards, not just slate monsters, not just spells, any of them, from your graveyard or your banish, and then uh, shuffle it and then draw one card. Um, it's mainly utilized for the shuffling back. The draw is just a benefit, to be honest. For the traps, I run one Contain and one Extinguish. One of them is a, a pop, and the other one is a Monster Negate. Um, if you have Hydrant on board, uh, it has some extra utilization in its effects, uh, whether that is to not allow them to use that monster to uh, for fusion, linking, etc. And the other one, um, yeah, can also not attack. That's awesome. Is that um, all 40? Yes, that is all of, no, that's not all 40. That is the main monsters for, oh. uh, for, um, for rescue race. Gotcha. Okay, there's more. <laughs> yes. Um, lastly is just extra spells. I run three super poly. Um, just a really good card right now. You have room in your extra deck to use it and utilize it. Um, it, it came up multiple times today. I run three pot of prosperity. Um, this card is cracked in the deck. Um, I tried using the other pots. Unfortunately, the other pots just seemed like I didn't want to banish things from, from desires from your deck because yeah. you have a lot of one ofs and you don't want to use extravagance because if you want to go into a certain link time for your combo or use super poly, uh, it became very difficult. So po prosperity is like easily a goatee card. <laughs> I also just picked it up today. Um, makes me happy. Hell yeah. Uh, one call by. Reinvestment. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, one call by, mainly due to the fact this deck can really hurt from hand traps. Ash kills it, Droll can occasionally kill it. Um, it is just a useful card to have and just say no. Um, it is being moved around though. I run one Rota. 
Uh, Rota allows you to get into your airlifter one card combo. Um, says it all, honestly. One, one for one. Uh, this allows you to pitch one of your monsters to get your hydrant. Um, and allows you to continue into your into your play. Sometimes you just need to normal summon Hydrant and then activate Hydrant effect. It's just a good card. And then lastly, uh, two cross out. Um, cross out did not come up today. However, same argument behind call by. Uh, the two crosses are mainly just for the hand drops. Ash particularly. Ash really hurts this deck. Um, that is it for the main deck. Gotcha. Do you want to go ahead and show the extra? Explain yeah. that. All right. I like this uh, map, by the way. Thank you. you shout that out, man. Yeah, this is a uh, topic from uh, Card Fight Vanguard. Hell yeah, ARG days. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Super poly targets. Mud Dragon. Uh, simple enough as it is. Um, Starving Venom, also pretty efficient. Uh, it's for your dark decks. A task, um, or a quest. The reason why I'm mainly using this one is Synchro Monsters, uh, or is the Synchro deck nowadays. There's a lot of dragons just floating around, and it uses one warrior, and Airlifter is a good boy. Um, that is it for them. Normally you would run Garua, but I do not have Garua. Oh yeah, we're gonna, so we're gonna, gonna get you one, don't worry. Thank you. Uh, next I'm running two XYZs. Um, they're janky, don't judge me. <laughs> uh, but it's Babuska and um, Giant Hand, mainly just in case like you can't really pull out a board and you have two airlifters on, hand, on, on board, which occasionally does happen. Um, you also can get out Monitor, which is the other level four. Um, I'm not running it, but you can. Uh, and they're just good XYZs. Yes! Next, I will go into the Link Ones. Link Karibo. This is your main uh, combo starter. You link off your Hydrant into Link Karibo. Um, you can also go into Almirage. Uh, Almirage is a, a must in this deck. Um, very, very cracked card. Um, it's not just useful in Salmon Great. And then lastly for the Link Ones is Link Decoder. Uh, this is mainly used as your combo extender into Dark Fluid or any of your other longer uh, Link 4s or Link 5s into the deck. Because um, it can special summon itself using Firewall Dragon. Hmm. Firewall not, Dragon, huh? Yeah. Uh, not using Firewall Dragon for this one since I don't have the Dark Fluid. But if you have Dark Fluid, you would essentially climb into Firewall, use the next card um, I'll show you, which is Protect Code, Car Protect Code, Protect Code Talker, um, using the Decode Talker, uh, the Link Decode, go into Firewall. Um, they will both pop off. Uh, you will banish with Protect Code, and then Decode will just special summon itself, and then you would go into Dark Fluid. Sense. And that gives you a spell trap negate. For the Link 2s, uh, Sunlight Wolf. It's just a really good um, fire Link 2. Uh, nothing too much else to say. <sighs> this dinosaur. Um, is the combo usage for to get into Dark Fluid. But it also has many other usages in that it can change your types, and so you can link into other certain things that you may need. Um, it's also just a generic link too, and can be very useful. And then lastly for the link twos, IP. Uh, IP was a goat this tournament uh, because since I don't have dark fluid, I ran um, into Avermax and Access Code. Uh, Aramax won me two games this tournament. It's, it's, it does what it needs to do, and going first, if you don't feel like you have much of a much of a wall, uh, you go into Aramax from IP and the Dino, and he's just a big boy. And then lastly, for the link three. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn. Um, just a good card. I didn't, it didn't come up today, but it is very good. Yeah, with IP, it's good in theory all the time. Dude. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Do you want to go ahead and show the side deck or we'll leave it alone? Yeah, sure. Wow. I'll show you. Gotcha. Uh, for the no, most of the side deck... This is it, your personal side deck, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> most of the time, I mean, most of this stuff is like pretty generic. Um, but just for quickly, it's mostly the one thing this deck hates the most, which is back row. This, back, this deck hates back row so much. Um, it has no way to get rid of it through the actual engine of the deck, as well as any back row hate to itself. Um, 
it has no protection to it, except for Dark Flu, which is why most people run it. So that way you can't just get Father Dusted and all of your set four from Turbulence goes. Next, I run three of the rock. Um, Nib put in work today against Crusadia, which was uh, my longtime lover. I, I love yeah. that deck Crusadia. so, 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 so much. Um, but it also came up against uh, Synchron. And what else do you do against combo decks? If they, if they don't have an out to it, then they pretty much pass. Next uh, was a, de a card that I have been running consistently a lot of is the barrier um it says no to branded it says no to synchron it says no to a lot of the current meta um and some things that are just niche and they if they have no response then they just pass as well as pearly with xyz's yeah gotta get rid of pearly <laughs> lastly um i run two solemn judgment uh it didn't really come up this tournament, and I'm probably going to move it um, and change it to something else. But it is a good counter trap, and sometimes they just can't push out of it. I run one Gozen. It'll probably, those two those two Solemns are probably going to be two more Gozens. Um, it's just a good, you know, Floodgate, your Fire. You don't really have anything else. You really pump out occasionally your other things, but it's very rare. And then lastly, more back row heat. Three of these. You gotta, you gotta get a board break in there, man. Yes. You gotta have it. Look, thank you for deck profile, man. I really yeah, appreciate it, man. It's first time seeing the Hydras on the channel, and first time seeing you in the channel, bro. Going yes, undefeated sir. at that, dude. With the new box. <laughs> Show me that new box real fast. Yeah, sure. It's right, it's right there to your left. There you go. Hey, I love that, man. Well, any more, uh, any last comments or anything, bro? Uh, thank you, Travis. Um, I love your YouTube channel. Appreciate uh, you. Thank you for letting me do a deck, deck profile, and I will see y'all later. Hell yeah, dude. You deserve it. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Nicholas, once again. Until next time, remember, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. Peace, guys.